going this way? Uh, I, yeah, I think so. Yeah, <laughs> I believe so. I'm ready. Put it on her finger. Say, Rachel, take this ring and let's be life first. Rachel, take this ring and let's be life first. Daniel, take this ring and let's be life first. <laughs> A sort of half person with big fat dreams, born on really long jogs and in really long showers. Left to my own devices, that's all I'd ever be. Rachel, when I first met you, I immediately thought two things. Wow, you're really beautiful, and wow, you talk really quietly. Seven years later, you're even more beautiful and still just as quiet. Today is June 21st, the summer solstice. This is the beginning of summer and all the glory and magic that comes with it. When we were kids, the beginning of summer always symbolized freedom, and I want you two to carry that feeling into this new beginning as well. Your strengths perfectly complement mine. You're everything I lack, and you give what I don't lack meaning. And you do it endlessly and selflessly. Like the way you constantly put aside your own desires to help me achieve my own dreams. The way you'd work all day and skip sleep to help me build my thing instead of yours. The way you'd spare no expense to fund my hobbies, like drums and ballet and French. Bulldogs. <laughs> I want you two to close your eyes and take a second to let this moment sink in. I don't want it to pass without you feeling every ounce of it. Take a deep breath and fill your lungs with the fresh air surrounding this moment. Now open your eyes and take a second to take in your surroundings, particularly the cuties standing here with you getting ready to pledge their life to you. <laughs> There's one more detail of this moment that I want you two to be aware of. It's the space between you two. This space between you two is filled with more than any human will ever know or comprehend. It's full of memories and jokes and hard times that you've been through together. The space between you two is full of energy, and I want you two to never forget that it's here. It's a space you've given each other to become deeply part of your life. Continually strive to keep it sacred and healthy. Be careful that it doesn't begin to feel distant and empty. When it does, fill that space with the love and care that you know it needs car ride with throwback music, a date night away from the couch, or maybe even a powered down laptop and some time away from work in the comment section of YouTube. <laughs> Make it a priority to keep that space, the energy between you two, healthy and full of love. I vow to cherish and honor you, support and encourage you, and love and respect you. I promise to love you, not only in a romantic way, but in a practical, everyday way. In patience, kindness, understanding, respect, encouragement, and surprise afternoon cold brews. It's just us now and forever, lifers, brighter diners. I have loved, do love, and will love you. I promise and I swear it. I will continue to pursue your heart. I'll try to make you laugh with bad puns, and I will always wake you up when it's time for bed. Rach, you're the love of my life. I'm so lucky to spend the rest of it with you by my side. And as the late, great, and still living Brian Fallon has said, <laughs> when we both grow old and there's nothing left to say, I want you to know that I loved you all my days. Dad's rule on three. <laughs> Definitely kissed each other. <laughs>